In this quick tutorial, I will show you how we can remove text from an image using Affinity Photo version 2. As you can see, this is a flat image. The text is kind of just part of this photo here, so we cannot like remove the layer with the text. That's not the case. So what can we do? Let's start by selecting the text. In my case, the text is black and the background is rather bright, so I could try to just simply use the magic wand. So if you've got good contrast between the text and the backdrop, use this flat selection tool. Let's use the add mode so we can add all of the letters. So I click on the first letter, second, third, and I managed to select all of the letters. Now we want to expand this selection. We want to make this selection a bit larger. So let's head to select. grow or shrink and in our case we move the grow slider to the right to make this selection larger than the original all right maybe extra 60 pixels around will do apply with this selection around the text now we can try to fill this area with uh, content aware in painting so let's do that, edit, fill, from here select in painting. Now the program will try to analyze the backdrop around your text and try to put some very similar colors and texture inside that selected area. Apply. Now we can deselect after this fill operation is over. We can deselect. So select, deselect. And that's what we get here. Definitely way better than a black text here. It's hard to say the text was here before, but to add a finishing touches, we can also select in painting brush tool and use a small brush with 50% hardness to make kind of like finishing touches if you got some kind of sharp textures. All right, I think that will do. Nice, let's zoom out. And we cannot even tell the text was here at the first place. Keep in mind, this method will depend on the backdrop. So if your backdrop is rather smooth like sky grass water wall of the building it should be fine if your backdrop is really complex the program may not be able to handle that so we all depends on the results of your in painting feel i hope this was helpful i will see you in the next affinity photo tutorial